Hello, this is Cindy. Welcome to my channel and to the last day of the Jelly Postcard Play Challenge. We have made it all the way through the month. Oh my glory, what a long haul this was. Doing a video every day, even when I a couple of times cheated and did two or three videos in a day, this is has been a very, very long, long haul. So I have my postcard here that I did. Um, this was a pull that I did off of the jelly plate. I don't like it. Um, I have a yellow here that I'm going to use and you'll see why in a minute. Mostly because my photograph does not quite... I Even though I printed it at 4 by 6 it did not come out at 4 by 6 This is a picture of my own house I'm doing houses and I want to thank, say a special thank you and shout out to Texas Rose for giving me the idea of doing my own house. This is our front porch. It is a wraparound porch on a Queen Anne Victorian. This is in the spring. Uh, it's actually from a couple years ago with the spirea blooming and the azalea blooming and it just came out really nice. So I'm going to take now a bit of this. Let's take my edges off, which I probably should have done before off camera, but sorry, didn't think that far ahead. Well, here, let's just do this. Because what I'm going to do is take just two little pieces of it. Get rid of all of these. Don't need to keep everything. And I just want enough to cover the top and the bottom of the picture. So I'm going to take about that much. And it, it really, it's not really a solid yellow. It may look like a solid yellow on screen, but it actually has some red in it, which is perfect for the red here. We have a yellow house with a red roof and I want to cover up this. And I'm going to use uh, Fabri-Tac for it because I want to make sure that these puppies stick down. So let's go ahead and put down a little bit of Fabri-Tac. And put that right. I want to get there's some red on there. I want to make sure I get the red. We'll trim them up in a bit. I'm going to trim the whole thing up in a bit. I want to just put that down there, let that dry a little bit. I liked how this kind of came out like a moon, but oh, it just, I didn't like the blue on the brown. It just, yeah, the whole thing just bothered me. I didn't like it. And I want to make sure I get that red again. So there's a little bit of red. And then we're going to go ahead and put you right over the top. But before I put you on there, I do want to take, <clears throat> excuse me, a little bit of... Where's my pine needles? There it is. Uh, maybe that's the wrong color. None of those. Sorry, I should have done had this. There we go. Rustic Wilderness. We're going with Rustic Wilderness. And I want to grab out a Rustic Wilderness. I don't know which one of there it is. It's here, right over here. And I just want to go around the edge of my top a little bit because I have all those trees and I, of course, I cut this off of a white background. So I'm going to go around with a little bit of Rustic Wilderness. And then I'm going to go around with a little vintage photo. Get the right one here. And we'll make this photo look a little bit older. Why the green and then the brown? 
just to give it a little more depth. Just to kind of give the picture of a photograph a little bit more depth. There we go. Perfect. All right. Now let's go ahead and put this on here and then we'll trim it up and we'll put our date on and we'll, we'll go from there. So I have a photograph of my house taken when it was gorgeous. I will tell you that it does not always look like that. I love the spirea, but except when they're blossoming, they just look overgrown. So half the time my house just looks like it's behind a forest, an overgrown forest. I'll line you up there and there. Okay, let's trim so we can see what we have here. Cover that up. Okay, and this obviously still needs to be backed. So I will back it later. I don't need to back it on camera. Okay, so what do we got? There we go. And I have this July 31st came off of a calendar. So I think I'm just going to put it right down there as July 31st. Let me grab my glue stick. Actually, I think I'm going to put it on the other side because this is a little heavy on composition wise. Oops. Hang on. I just got glue on the front of it. Nice big glue glob. There we go. I'll put you over here to kind of balance a little bit. Besides which, there's a little bit of red there that I don't want to lose. Okay, now that's not quite even all the way around. So I'm going to just take my trimmer and I'm going to cheat just a little bit. And I'm going to trim a tiny bit. Actually, you know what? I have a new trimmer. <coughs> Excuse me. Let me use my new trimmer. This should be easier to use. I just bought this. I just want to trim that up a little bit so it's not... There. See, you can see it's not quite level. Okay, and we'll do the same thing here. It is not come on. Oh, it doesn't like to cut down that far. Okay. Well, I guess we know that now. Well, we're going to ouch, just trim that last little bit with the scissors. Level that up a little bit. Let's make it look old timey. Old timey. Like an old timey photograph. And then grab my vintage photo again. And we're gonna go around the whole thing. And there we go. July 31st, it needs a sentiment, but I'm not sure what I want it to say yet. So when I do the review, um, know that uh, there have been several of these that I have um, added to. And so I will add to this, I'll think about what kind of a sentiment I want there, and I will add it in and we'll see what comes of it. In the meantime, this is Cindy signing off.